Okay, so I'm going to show you this problem twice. I'm going to show you once the way it's written and then once if we were to change it. And so we've got a we've got a Venn diagram below. We want to find A intersect B. So I'm going to do this in steps. So step one is to shade just A because that's the first piece. And then step two is going to be shade just B because that's the second piece of the equation. And then our last step would be to shade A intersect B. So let me get that in here. So I will do the first step. So I'm going to draw the box. This is my universe. Here's my circle for A. Here's my circle for B. And if I am wanting to shade just A, I'm going to shade all of that and that. So there's my A circle. And you shade the intersection part as well, right? Yes, the because okay. it's all of A. Oh, okay, got it. So in step two, I'm going to have the same picture again. I've got A, I've got B, universe. And so this time I'm shading just B. So here's B, but again, it's all of B, including the intersection, because I want that whole circle for B. And so now I'm going to go on to the last piece. So universe A, B, and so I have an intersection. So intersection means that I just want, we want the overlap between step one and two. So I just want the thing that's shaded in both parts. And so if I look at step one, I've got all of A shaded, which includes the intersection between the two. Step two, I have all of B, which includes the intersection of the two. So the only thing that picture one and picture two have in common is this overlap. And so that's, um, that's all that I have. So the second problem would be A union B. So we're going to set it up the same way we did before. We're going to have step one, we're going to shade A. Step two, where we shade B, because B is the second part of the equation. And then step three, we're going to shade A union B. And so the big difference between union and intersection is union means that anything shaded in step one and step two stays shaded. So if we draw our Venn diagram for the union problem, here's A, here's B, Here's our universe. And because we're doing union, anything that was shaded in step one is going to stay shaded. Anything shaded in step two is going to stay shaded. And this overlap got shaded twice, and that's fine. But because it's union, anything shaded in step one or step two remains unshaded. 